am guessing you must have heard of Google Notebook LM. But if you've not heard, don't worry, this video wants to not only show you what it is about, to tell you how to use it and how to get the best out of the new Notebook LM. Now, Google is just releasing every new AI model to supercharge our work, our experiences as researchers. Now, before now, if you were to research a new topic, uh, one of the things you would do is to go somewhere there and download 10, 20, 50 papers that relate to the topic you want to study, uh, you want to research about. And when you are done, you begin to open them one after the other and begin to look at them and look at the abstracts, look at the introduction, look at the conclusion and the methodology and before you can make meaning of about 50 papers it must take you a week one month and that makes research so cumbersome but thank god for google notebook lm you can now summarize 50 papers in less than 10 minutes how can you do that just go to google and type notebook lm or just type Google Notebook LM, it will pop up. You click on it and you will be on the space. This is the space where you can create a new project and add up all of your 50 papers. What do we do first? So you open Notebook LM and you click on create. And it will take you to the space. It would have some three tabs like this. The three tabs, have um, where you add your source and uh, where you chat with the sources you've added and other things you can do with the papers now this is beautiful why is it beautiful unlike every other ai model you have um, encountered they, they came they came with predefined data and predefined memory with google lm you create your own data you create the memory of the AI model. That is, it, it comes very fresh. It is what you add to it that you would be able to talk with, that you would be able to extract information from. That is why this model is very, very beautiful. It has no nuance on its own. It will not be hallucinating because it is the input, the sources you create, it is from these sources it will discuss with you. From these sources, it will create you summaries, from these sources, it would take you through every part of that source you have added to it. And so the first thing is to add these sources. So just click on the source and it takes you to where you can upload your papers. Now, it allows you to upload papers if you have them on Google Docs. So if you have written some notes on Google Docs, you can add it up here if you have some notes on google slides you can add if you have websites you have a link to web web pages that contains what you want to discuss or what you want a summary for just put up the website or you have a youtube channel a youtube page that have discussed a particular technique a particular research work that interests you that you want to get a summary of it very fast you could just put that and of course you can copy text from your notes from your research work and just paste here but i like to use pdf works so i just uh, click on upload and it will take me to my downloads these are some 10 papers i have downloaded on a particular topic and i want to use these 10 papers to uh, create my uh, res research literature i want to use it to create of my review of literature i want to find some meaning for my research from these papers and so i will just highlight all of them that way and click on open and it it would open it would load up that way and while it's open you are you are allowed to add more work so you can add pdfs you can add voices you can add um, notes you can add slides can add links and all of them would add up 
this way. And this is a beautiful part. While it is doing that, you can continue adding some more and you can add 50 sources. I mean, 50 papers. That is so much. That is a lot. That is, you could summarize 50 papers in less than 10 minutes. Get all the information, get the explanation for all the equations, get the research methodology, get all the summaries, get all the conclusion, have a direction in 10 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes is even far. This can happen in less than five. So while this uploading, you can go back there and add more to your sources. You could add all of these, just hold on shift key and add and add and add all of the papers you had up there and if you had preprints just add them up and they all would pop up here now this is the beautiful part once the papers are added on the chat tab no matter there are three tabs here this is where you add the sources this is where this ai model chats with the sources allow you to discuss with the sources and this is where it allows you add some more notes and you can from the summary add some more notes and create your own summary and create your review of literature in fact for a phd student you can write your chapter two just here if these are all the papers you want to source you want to review you can just write chapter two while you are on this tab yes you would it allows you to edit you you ask question it edit and you add some more notes it keeps editing until your work is defined so i have these papers here this is where i am going to talk with these sources these are my sources these are not the ai sources i added this one i have just created the memory for this ai model and so whatsoever i will be discussing here will be from these 16 sources and there is this funny part this beautiful part for every of the paper you have added, you can have an individual summary. Yes, so I can click on that paper and have its own individual summary. What you have here is the summary of all 16 sources. But for each of the papers I have here, I can have a summary of it. I could uh, screw through it. I could click on any part and it will give me a discussion. That's it's very beautiful. So if I am done with paper one, so you, you're seeing that in one glance, I am seeing all that is in that paper. I can go to the next, and the next paper opens, and I look through all that is in that paper. I will discuss what is in that paper in, in, um, in a larger, in detail, so I can just click on this, and it's going to discuss that. Now, notice that any part I click becomes a discussion on the chat tab. So what is it discussing? It is no longer only discussing uh, this is just what i clicked now i asked it to discuss with me uh the enhancement this is the first discussion it was brought from that paper and i click the next thing i asked for discuss quantum dot modification now from that one paper is going to look through all the 16 papers i have here and discuss how quantum dot has been used to uh, modify uh, perovskite um, uh, solar cells and that can be very beautiful and so within the same tab within around the same environment i am having a discourse with 16 papers and i can do that for up to 50 papers and i will look at this other paper and this is the paper discusses quantum dot um, induce cesium rich surface impact enhance ability for uh for my medium lead iodide solar cells and as i look through every story in the paper i want to discuss how um cesium content enhancing solar cells i'll just click on that and it isn't just going to discuss that from that paper alone as i've mentioned before it's doing that from all of the 16 papers i have here it's giving me um citations not just uh, um some work it is citing papers i have uploaded here and what more i can now begin to chat can now begin to ask questions so i could say uh from all of the papers here give me 
a give me possible 10 research gaps and it's going to do that research gaps on rough skies and phantom dot um, phantom dot integration and it's going to do that for me and i just hit enter and this model is going to look at all 16 sources that i have here it is not borrowing from any additional material it is just focused on these papers i have added and these are the plenty sources it is making available it's saying more research is needed to fully understand the charge transfer mechanism and interface dynamics between perovskite and um, phantom dot and plenty 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 information and so as a smart researcher these suggestions are already research topics for me and so i already have research topics and what more what more i could say uh, summarize summarize these papers as a literature review and this model is going to do just that for me so look at 16 papers and it's going to summarize it as a review of literature very beautiful work very beautiful very beautiful ability of this ai model very beautiful ability so if i read it to that chapter two wow i am i have just finished writing chapter two and it's not yet 10 minutes ai model notebook lm very beautiful very new and can supercharge everything about what you do with research now is that all not at all you can share you can copy all of the things you have discussed here and take a link and you share it you could add people you could add colleagues you could add collaborators so if you are three persons writing a paper or four persons you can just add them up and they are discussing with the same source and they are using the same source and in no time everybody is on the same page and what else can you do you can have an audio converse you could tell this model to turn all of these into some audio uh, um audio drive and it will do that for you what more can it do it can create study guides from what you've uploaded it could create um a frequently asked question from what you've uploaded it could even create you a timeline and all this typing can just be reduced to a voice so if i wanted it to create for me some audio i could just click on generate and this model would look into this paper and turn it into some listening paper so i would just sit down at my library just click on play and i begin to listen to this model read out this paper make meaning for me summarize this paper and turn it into an audio device so it is like we're in a studio and i have converted papers to my colleague i've con converted papers to my chat mate, my discourse mates. And so I'll just sit down somewhere and I will say, oh, discuss this with me. And this model will begin to discuss that. This is going to change what we know about research. It's going to supercharge research. It's going to make us do a whole lot in a very short time. So if you have not learned how to use Notebook LM to supercharge your research, to summarize your work, to create very beautiful review of literature just go somewhere there now it is free it is free it is free and you can just start using it don't forget that in this channel i share with you information tutorials on how you can supercharge your research writing ability your research work as a young researcher as an experienced researcher or someone who's just trying to get into the academic research environment so you want to subscribe to this channel, you want to like, you want to share this to other young researchers, you want to turn on the bell so that next time I share something very beautiful, you are about the first person to be alerted. Thank you for watching.